Hello there and welcome back to Five Acre Farm to those of you who have been with us for a little while and welcome to all the new subscribers. My goodness, there's so many. It's so nice. It's, yeah, exciting. Nice to know that there's so many people that are enjoying what we're doing and wanting to see us and yeah, lovely. Um, today I am doing the nasturtium seed. They're like nasturtium capers. So <clears throat> my mum told me about this recipe and I tried some when I was visiting her recently. They're really yum. I'm gonna have to be careful of the bees though. The bees are loving all the flowers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick some of the nasturtium seeds and then put it into either a salt brine or a um, uh, like pickle it in, um, in vinegar. Um, so you just wanna make sure I'll show you some of the seed pods. So that's it there. Hang on. <laughs> Did that didn't work very well. That's it there. So yeah, I'll be picking some of the seed pods and I've just seen as well, there's some raspberry plants. We've got our raspberry bush. Yeah, and it's been spreading. There's one there, so I've got to be careful of the bees and be careful of the raspberry plant. These gonna be the capers. Yeah, try one. Is it good? Yeah, a bit spicy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yum. <laughs> so as you can see, they do have a peppery taste to them. They're quite strong and quite spicy. When you do pickle them, that sort of settles down a little bit. So yeah, and they're not meant to be eaten on their own, really. Um, I might eat them by themselves, but probably just because it's a bit of a novelty to have them. Um, yeah, there's heaps there. There's heaps more in the garden as well, so didn't get stung and I didn't hurt myself on the raspberry bush, so we're winning. Um, yeah, so when you do make these, or if, if you want to try making them, that's 
apparently it's quite simple i'll show you the recipe and show you how i do it um not that i've done it before but i'll show you how i will do it they're meant to be used sort of you can add them into salads or you can add them we'll probably be adding them onto our pizzas we're making some homemade pizzas tonight um oh they won't be ready um well maybe we could do i'll do a little a little bit because they're meant to sit for maybe five or six weeks before they're actually ready so yeah maybe we might do we might try some um sorry i'm spinning it's quite bright <laughs> what's justin doing over there oh, i think he's coming in to do a bit of mowing yep. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to start doing all of this. capers and then ended up needing to pick some more because we didn't have time to actually make up the capers um, so these it's another lot that I've picked here and then ended up when Justin and I have been ill with COVID so it was sitting in the fridge for a little bit too long so I don't know if they're gonna work but we'll give it a go So we've got 400 mils of vinegar and just some pepper that's in it as well. Oops. <laughs> I 
absolutely made a mess. Could have done that a bit better, but oh well.